What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be adding resource packs to our Apex servers. Adding a resource pack to your Apex server is an excellent way to bring excitement to the visual aspects of your community's gameplay. With thousands of texture packs, there are endless possibilities to create your perfect server. While installing a resource pack to your server can be a bit tricky, we're going to walk you through the process to ensure a smooth installation. First things first is actually finding a pack to put onto your server. The pack needs to come from an official website such as CurseForge or Planet Minecraft. For today's example, we're going to be using CurseForge. I'm already on the second page of texture packs, and the thing that we're looking for is a texture pack that's compatible with our server jar. My server is on a 1.14 version of Minecraft, so that's what we're going to look for. I already know what texture pack I'm going to be needing for my server, and Asta's Bistrina Pokemon Inspired Texture Pack. This texture pack has a version that's compatible with 1.14, so I'm going to go ahead and download that. And now that I've got that downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and move it onto a folder where I know it's going to be later on. Now, our next step is going to be hopping on the Dropbox web page. From here, you can upload files and folders, but we're only going to be uploading our texture pack zip file. Go ahead and hit upload files and select your texture pack and then hit open. From there, it'll ask you if you want to upload. Of course, you want to upload and let that upload. Once it's done, make sure to select the check mark on your texture pack and hit share. Make sure that this tab right here is only set to people can view. Go ahead and then create a link. Once your link is created, go ahead and hit copy. Once you've copied your link, you can head into your multicraft panel. Go ahead and stop your server. When changing any of your server's files, your first step should always be to stop and then save your server. Once your server is stopped and then saved, you can head over to configure files. From configure files, you can head into server settings. From server settings, scroll down until you reach the resource pack text input right here. Go ahead and paste your Dropbox link. From the very left, make sure that you change the www.dropbox.com to dl.dropbox user content dot com and then you can keep the rest except for the very end the same at the very end we're going to be changing the dl equals zero to dl equals one once you've done that you can head to the very bottom of the page and then hit save once all that has saved, you can head back to the main Multicraft page and you can either start or restart your server. You'll know that your server has started up by the online indication on the bottom left of your server IP. Go ahead and hit the copy feature right there and then you're ready to hop into your server. So now that we've gotten all that out of the way, we can head into multiplayer, go into add server and paste in our server address and name the server whatever you want. For today's purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and name it test and hop into the server. As you can see, the server recommends a use of a custom resource pack. What you're going to want to do is download and install it automatically. For future reference, press yes so that it'll do it automatically, of course. And then you'll see that your server loads up with your texture pack. If you're having issues running a texture pack, uh, make sure to turn down some of your settings before you decide that maybe the texture pack just isn't for your server. And of course, if people are clicking yes on downloading the texture pack and they're not getting the texture pack downloaded onto their Minecraft instance, make sure that the zero at the end of your texture pack link, your Dropbox link, actually says one and not zero because then that will cause an issue. And if the server doesn't load, of course, the texture pack issue could also be caused by the server version you're running and the texture pack not being compatible. So make sure that those two things are compatible. Folks, thank you for watching this Apex server tutorial. Thank you for using an Apex server. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.